Barbara, that's the season over. Yeah. Um, that seems like it's all gone to, on, yeah. gone to shit. Um, no. It was do or die and we're dead. We're in that Mickey Mouse club now. The Mickey Mouse club. It's like, to me, the crowd wanted it more than the players. That's what I can't get over. Mm. I know De Gea, he should have caught that ball. You know. And it's not the first mistake he's made in recent weeks. He makes another big mistake. It's cost us the game, but even away from his mistake, the players, the reaction, the confidence after we conceded, even even the confidence after we scored. After we scored, we didn't really carry on creating. We didn't really carry on pressing, carry on controlling the ball. We allowed Chelsea to get comfortable, even exactly. away from De Gea's exactly. mistake. Exactly. The second half, I thought, at least they'll come out and try. But it wasn't until the last five minutes there was any urgency, it seemed to me. I was just so disappointed. The crowd, all they had to do was win three points. We had a chance. Their goal difference was better than ours. So, of course, we needed them to drop a point. But we could have done it. And does it not matter? Does it not matter to these people at all? Have they got no passion? Or are they over there in Spain already? Because it seems to me that's it. They're talking about going to Spain, going to Italy. Well, clear off then, as far as I'm concerned. If you don't want to play for the club, then get some money for them and just clear off. I am just so disappointed. One goal from open play after eight hours. Because we were lucky with penalties before that. It's just not good enough, so we're going to have to start again, clear out those that don't want to play for my club, which I've supported since 1963. Is there, it's an awful performance, obviously, because we've lost the game. Is there any form of hope now? Is it cool? Is it uh, well, I think you start with the players that you'd keep, basically. Mm. The ones that you would keep. Who would you keep? Right, OK. <laughs> it's not many. Mm. Sure. Lindelof, Jolly on McTominay, I suppose. Who else? Who else is really good enough to call themselves a true Manchester United player that's not playing for the money? That's what it's come down to. De Gea, he's been one of he's been our best player. Ollie said for the last four or five years. How much is he letting us down right yeah, now? Yeah, but he stood by him. Mm. He's not criticised him in public. Should he have? Well, not, maybe not in public, but should he have dropped him? Well, you have to ask yourself, is Romero good enough and consistent enough to be the number one? Mm. He's been great in the Cups and he is a good goalkeeper. But whether he'd be good enough as the number one, I'm not sure. Would you sell De Gea in the summer? Well, if he, he seems to want to go as well, doesn't he? The rumours are that he wants to go to Real Madrid or they're sniffing around after him. Get as much money as we can and start again. But it's just not good enough. They've let the fans down again. Nice one, Barbara. Thanks for talking to us. Cheers. Big respect to all you guys for watching that video. Make sure you check out more United Stand content here and here. Yeah, Like, subscribe and share. And the socials are along the bottom. You know what to do. Go get following. Go, 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 go.